This video will show you how to connect a Falcon GSM communicator to work with a RISCO LightSys 2 panel. Make sure that the Falcon unit has a firmware version of 4.25 or later. The phone app is compatible with the RISCO LightSys 2 with a firmware version of 3.03 .03 or later. Connect the Falcon to the RISCO LightSys 2 through the serial port RS-232 using the serial cable and adapter marked RISCO provided. Note that the adapter must be connected to the panel serial port with the adapter board facing right and the blue wire on top. Set the serial port format on the Falcon unit to RISCO LightSys 2. To do this, remove power from the Falcon. Hold down the push button and reapply power. Push the button to cycle through the panel serial port format options until you reach the RISCO LightSys 2 format, indicated by a capital A. Release the button. The Falcon will remember the new serial port format. Set the customer profile on the panel to 0UL before programming any zones partitions, as this defaults the panel. To do this, press the menu button and enter 1111 followed by OK. Press OK to select System. Scroll down to Settings using the scroll button and press OK. Scroll down again until you reach Customer and press OK to select it. Scroll up to 0UL and select it by pressing OK. To go back to the main programming menu, press the menu button two times. Note that this defaults the panel. This action and everything from year on can only be done on the keypad as the configuration software is not yet capable of handling this customer profile. The default installer code will now be 1561. The next step is to allocate key bus devices. In the programming menu, scroll to install and press OK. Press OK to select bus device and then press OK again to select automatic. This will run the automatic bus allocation to make sure that the keypad works correctly after the upcoming reboot. Press OK to confirm the bus devices until you reach the bus device menu again. Press the menu button two times to go back to the main programming menu. Scroll to exit and press OK. To confirm that you want to save the new configuration, press OK again. Next, we need to set up communication channels. Enter the installer menu by pressing the menu button. Enter the code 1561 and press OK. Select programming by pressing OK. Select system by pressing OK. Scroll down to controls and press OK. Scroll down to Communication and press OK. Set MS Enable or ARC Enable, depending on whether your panel is set to the UK or International Language option, to Yes. Press OK to enter the Communication menu again. Scroll down to CS Enable and set to Yes. 
re-enter the communication menu by pressing OK. Scroll down to ADC Enable and set to Yes. Press OK and press the menu button two times. We now need to link communication channels. Scroll to communication and press OK. Scroll down to MS and press OK. Press OK to select report type and press OK to select MS1. Scroll down to RS232 and press OK. Press the menu button to go back to the MS menu. Scroll down to COM format and press OK. Press OK to select contact ID. Scroll down to parameters and press OK. Select MS Read Tries by pressing OK. Set MS Try to 01 and press OK. Scroll down to Alarm Restore and press OK. Set it to At Disarm by scrolling and pressing OK. Press the menu button to go back to the MS menu. Scroll down to Report Split and press OK. Select MS Arm Disarm by pressing OK. Scroll to Call first and press OK to select. Scroll to MS Urgent and press OK. Scroll to Call first and press OK to select. is non-urgent and press OK. Scroll to call first and press OK to select. Press the menu button three times to go back to the main programming menu. Disable the delay in reporting zone alarms for all zones in the panel. In the main programming menu, scroll up to Zones and press OK. Press OK again to enter the Parameters option. Scroll to By Category and press OK. Scroll to Advanced and press OK. Scroll to Abort Alarm and press OK. Press OK on Zone 1 and scroll to Disable and press OK. Do this for all program zones. Press the menu button five times to go back to the main programming menu. Scroll down to exit and press OK. Make sure to save the new configuration data.
connect the panel to the My Falcon app, go to your phone's app store. Search for My Falcon and tap install. Once downloaded, open the app. the welcome screens by tapping the arrow and select get started. Tap sign up and enter your personal details to create an account. that is secure, but one that you will remember and tap Submit. new details. After reading through this notification, tap OK. Tap Add Panel. Once you've completed all the steps on the screen, tap Continue. Tap on Scan QR Code and scan the QR code found on the sticker at the back of the Falcon. Tap Confirm. Tap Continue. Tap Tap to set device up. My Falcon is just retrieving information from your panel. This should take no longer than 60 seconds. You're now at the partition screen where you can perform various actions on your alarm system. To test the app, arm and disarm the panel. <music>